Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking me. And how are you tonight? Teacher, I am driving. Uh, okay, Jaime, I understand. Don't worry. Hello, Maria Dolores. Hello, Flor de Maria. Jaime, Francisco Antonio, Ivan, welcome to the class. It's nice to see you tonight. So today Thank is you. Monday. You. Today is Monday. We're going to start our week. How? Yes, tell me. Tell me, Flor de Maria. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Nice to see you tonight, Flor de Maria. Hello, Leslie. Welcome to the class. How was your Monday? Today is Monday. Do you like Mondays? ¿Les gustan los lunes? Yes. No, teacher. No. <laughs> Pero es es. Más o menos. Eh, los lunes ni las gallinas ponen, dicen. Pero ya casi, ¿verdad? Ya casi termina. In an hour, you are going to go and you are going to rest. Right? You are going to go to the bed. And you are going to rest a lot. Gracias a Dios, ya pasó, ¿verdad? El lunes, ya casi termina. And that's great. Hello, Samuel. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hey, Thank hello. you. Good evening. You're welcome. It's nice to see you tonight. Okay, the last class we were talking about common illnesses. We were talking about uh, illnesses that are common, right, in our life. Uh, do you remember some of them? Do you remember some common illnesses vocabulary? Enfermedades comunes, ¿se acuerdan de ese vocabulario? We studied that on Thursday. Yes, teacher. Yes, which one do you remember, for example? For example, headache. Headache, excellent. Headache. Which other one? Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Perfect. Stomach ache. Flu. Flu, the flu. Any other? Backache. 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 Dolor de espalda. A fever. Fever. A fever. Thank you so much. Now let's see um, which verb I need to talk about these common illnesses. Let's suppose that I have a headache. Eh, ¿Cuál sería la oración? Para decir, yo estoy padeciendo de un dolor de cabeza. Yo tengo un dolor de cabeza. What is the sentence? Do you remember? I have a headache. Okay, excellent. Necesitamos el verbo have. I have a headache. I have a headache. Ahora, ¿cómo digo María Dolores tiene un dolor de cabeza? Cambia un poquito el, el verbo, ¿verdad? María Dolores has, has a, a headache. headache. Excelente. María Dolores has a headache. Es en tercera persona, ¿verdad? Cambia el verbo have. A has. Excelente. Very good. ¿Cómo digo Samuel a Samuel? Samuel tiene una, un resfriado. Se resfrió. Samuel has, Samuel has a, a flu. A cold or, or flu. A cold sería en este caso. Samuel oh. has a cold. Samuel tiene un resfriado. ¿Cómo digo que Francisco se nos enfermó de dolor de estómago? Francisco uh, has a stomach. Excellent. Thank you so much, Samuel. So, Francisco has a stomach ache. Perfect. Thank you so much. Bueno, y Leslie tiene un dolor de oído, Leslie. ¿Cómo digo Leslie tiene un dolor de oído? Do you remember that structure? Dolor de oído. Leslie has. Has a. Um, courage. <laughs> an ear age. An ear age. 
Sí, Leslie. Has Confundí la E por la. Por la... <laughs> <laughs> ok, very good, very good try. Thank you so much, Samuel. Very good job. Ok, I can see that you remember. And we also study two questions. What's the matter and what's, what's grown? What's the matter? What's the matter and what's grown? Right? So we are going to have a review of that. Let's start with the class. But before to go with the class, let me ask you a question. Uh, can you please tell me if you finish the platform exercises for section number one and section number two? Completar una sección uno y dos en la plataforma. Yes. 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 yes sí. teacher. Congratulations. Then I'm going to take a look of your uh, progress after the class. Voy a revisar su progreso después de la clase, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Do you have any questions about those exercises? Preguntas acerca de esos ejercicios. Any question, any doubts, any comments. Sí, Chaviera, ¿cómo me desvelé haciendo eso? Era el viernes, llegué hasta las 11, ¿no? It was easy or difficult. Estaba It's fácil easy. o difícil. Easy. Easy. It was easy. Ah, okay, that's great. It was easy. It was easy. Okay, that's great. Estuvo fácil. Bueno, no se les olvide del grupo de WhatsApp. Si en algún momento necesitan ayuda, we are there to help you. Ahí estamos para ayudar. ¿verdad? So let's start with tonight's class. And tonight we are going to learn this topic. I'm sharing with you my screen. Can you please let me know if you can see it? Can you already see my screen? No, I can see, I can see. What about the rest of the I class? I can see too. No pueden ver mi presentación? No. Yes. No. Yes, yes. I can see, I teacher. Can. Yes, I can okay. see, teacher. I can see very well. Now. Okay. I can see, teacher. I still can see it. Give me a second. I'm going to try again. Okay. Is it working now? Can you see? No. Screen? No, teacher. Not yet? Not yet. Yes. Eh, ¿Qué tal ahora? ¿Ya pueden? Yes, I, I, I see, I can see. Ah, okay, that's great. Thank you so much. So let's start with the topic, giving advices using imperative sentences. That is the topic for tonight. Welcome to the class number five. And let's start with the lesson objective. Any volunteer to read the objective for tonight? Uh, I. Okay, um, thank you so much. Reading. Okay, reading. Uh, yes, read. Be the, end, be the end of the be the end of this class. You will learn how to use possessive, possess, posit, positive, positive, oh. um, negative, imperatives. Okay, thank you so much. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperative sentences. What is an imperative sentence? Do you remember that? Ivan, do you have a question? No, teacher, no, solo quería leerlo, pero no, no, estamos bien. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. I couldn't see it uh, before. So, imperative sentence. ¿Qué es una oración imperativa en Spanish or in English? What is an imperative sentence? Do you have any idea? Es como, un, como una, una orden, como... Como una imposición, digamos, o como una, bueno, no sé si es recomendación. Uh, yes, it is. It could be both. Puede ser ambos. Ajá. Tell me, tell me your idea. No, sería como una instrucción, no sé. Ok, that's great. Thank you. Eh, una oración imperativa puede funcionar de esas tres maneras. Puede ser una instrucción, puede ser un consejo o puede ser una, una orden, ¿verdad? For example, open the door. What is it? Open the door. Abra la puerta. 
abre la puerta, ¿verdad? Abre la puerta. Ahora, si yo les digo, mmm, take some aspirin. Take some. Usted me dice, I, I have a headache. And I say, take some aspirin. Tomen ese aspirina. Es, ese es un consejo. Le duele la cabeza. Tome algo de aspirina. Y se va a sentir mejor. Vamos a ver las oraciones imperativas. But before to that, let's remember the vocabulary of the last class. What's the matter with hair? What's the matter with hair in this picture in the first one? What's she, the matter with has, hair? She has a, a headache. Okay, let's see. She has a headache, yes. What's the matter with hair? She has a flu or, no. or cold. She no. has a flu or a cold? Probably no. She is suffering from another illness. What is it? She has a toothache. Oh, thank you so much, Ivan. She has a toothache. Let's see. I don't remember. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, let's see. What about her? She has a flu. She has the flu. And the last one. She has a fever. What's, what's the matter with her? She okay. has a stomachache or fever. Stomach I don't know. <laughs> okay, she has she a stomachache. Uh, stomach she has um, a stomachache. Yeah. Okay, stomach let's see. She has the flu. Uh, she has a stomachache or a belly ache. Dolor de vientre. Es, es el segundo. Belly ache. She has a stomachache or a belly ache. And this okay. other one. She has a toothache. She has a toothache. Any volunteer mm -hmm. to read these sentences? Who wants to practice? I need just one volunteer to practice in this part. Who yeah. wants to try? Carmen, Maria, y después Francisco. Thank you, Carmen. Hello, Carmen, Maria, can you help me please? Sorry? Can you help me reading the sentences? Uh, what's the matter with her? Continue reading the sentences, please. Okay. Uh, what's the matter with her? She had a, a headache. 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 Yeah, headache. Headache. She has the flu. She has two headaches. Two eight. Two eight. Two eight. Um, no puedo verlo. Oh, okay. she, she has a stomach or belly ache. Okay, thank you so much. Excellent job. Thank you for your help, Francisco Antonio. What's the matter with the hair, Francisco? She has a headache. She has a, a toothache. She has the flu. She has a stomachache. She has a belly ache. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Thank you for your help. And Hugo, Giovanni, do you want to try? What's the matter with hair? She has a, a hair. Uh, she has a flour, the flour. She has a touch, touch eight. And uh, uh, she has a stomach eight. Okay, right. excellent. The last one, belly age. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you so much. Now, what's the matter with him? What's the matter with him? He has a diarrhea. Diarrhea? Diarrhea? He has a diarrhea or a stomach He has a diarrhea. What about this man? What's the matter with him? He's a he has a backache. He has a backache. Thank you. And what's the matter with him? He has a sore throat. Sore throat. Excellent. Let's see the sentences. He has a diarrhea or he has a stomach ache. 
he has a sore throat and he has a back heat. Perfect, thank you so much. Let's go with this part. We studied these two questions in the last class. What's the matter and what's wrong? And we have two ways to answer this. In subject plus have plus noun. Let's see, for example, I have a cold. She has a fever. They have the flu. He has a headache. And also we can use the verb feel. Subject plus feel plus the adjective. So I feel awful. She feels terrible. He feels better. I feel stressful. Don't you remember the meaning of this word? Awful. Awful. Horrible. Okay. Horrible, terrible, very bad. Muy, Muy mal. mal. Yes. And, and what about this one? Stressful. Estresado. Okay. Do you feel stressful tonight? ¿Se siente estresado esta noche? Yes. I do. Yes, okay. Yes. I'm sorry to yes. hear that. A little stressful. Okay. You can listen some music. You can watch a video, a movie, for you to get relaxed. So don't forget about this, right? What's the matter and what's wrong? And you can use to answer this question, the verb have or the verb, the verb feel. Now let's let's see this conversation. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Is it a, an order, a recommendation, an advice? Look at this sentence. Don't work too hard. No trabaje. Duro. Tan duro. Tanto, demasiado muy duro. Eh, no trabaje demasiado. ¿verdad? Don't work too hard. So let's see this conversation. Está dividido en dos partes. Let's see the first one. It says, Dr. Young and Mrs. West. Hello, Mrs. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's going on exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. What's wrong with her? What's the matter with Mrs. West? What's the matter with Mrs. West? She's exhausted. She is exhausted or she feels exhausted. She can sleep. Okay, she can't sleep at night. ¿Les ha pasado? Yes. Se, se sienten cansados, pero aún así no se pueden yes. dormir en la noche. That is stress, right? A few minutes later, unos minutos después, I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner, okay? And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks. Dr. John. So now let's see the recommendation. I'm going, let's see, I'm going to give you some pills. ¿Qué le va a dar? Píldoras, algo así. Píldoras. Las pastillas. 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 Okay. Take one pill every night after dinner. Take one pill every night after dinner. Tomar una Tomar después una... de cenar. Tomar okay, después excellent. de cenar. Muy bien, esto es una orden, una recomendación o una instrucción. An instruction. Instrucción. Order, una instrucción. Advice. It's an instruction. And yeah. don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Is it an instruction, recommendation, advice? Recommendation. An order. <laughs> an order. <laughs> Maybe recommendation or recommendation. advice. Advice. An instruction. Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Instruction, advice, or order? Order. Order. Okay, don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. ¿Qué sintiera si el doctor le dijera, don't drink coffee? Sí. It's awful. 
It's very bad right there. A ver, ¿quién toma café? Lo primero que toman en la mañana. A cup of coffee. Do you like coffee a lot? Very much. Yes. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what about soda? Mm -hmm. Imagine that the doctor said, don't no drink much. soda anymore. I don't, I don't like. Ah, you don't like soda. Okay, you are doing good in that part. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Algo más? Yes, don't work too hard. No trabaje tanto, ¿verdad? Don't work too hard. All right, things, Dr. Jones. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Eh, me perdí. Entonces, eh, dice don't work too hard. ¿Es una instrucción o es un...? Eh... I guess it's an advice. It's an advice. Don't work too hard. No trabaje demasiado. Es un consejo. Don't work too hard. Ay, lo malo que si le decimos eso al jefe vamos a tener problemas y de doctor said don't work too hard el doctor me dijo que no trabaje tan duro so eh, let's see some examples here and the first one is the title of the conversation don't work too hard it's an imperative sentence then I have let's see the other one here, take one pill every night after dinner is another example of imperative sentence. Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Don't work too hard is the other example. Let's go with this part. Let's take a look at this information. Imperative sentences. There are positive imperative sentences and negative, uh, negative imperative sentences. The first three are positive. Take a pill every four hours, rest in bed, drink a lot of juice. Las, eh, las oraciones imperativas positivas son recomendaciones que, o cosas que sí podemos hacer, ¿verdad? Sí las podemos hacer. Take a pill every four hours, rest in bed, tome una pastilla cada cuatro horas, descanse, ¿verdad? Eh, drink a lot of juice, tome mucha agua. Una oración imperativa negativa nos dice algo que no debemos hacer. Es una recomendación para que no hagamos algo. Y esta comienza con don't. Let's see, for example, don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Cosas que no deberíamos hacer, ¿verdad? O que no debemos hacer. No trabajes mucho. No esté despierto hasta tarde. Y no tomen soda. So, the positive imperative sentences start with a verb plus a complement. Todas las oraciones imperativas no tienen sujeto. El sujeto es eh, implícito y es you, el sujeto. Todas las son como recomendaciones para usted, you. You drink lots of water. You eat vegetables. You take an aspirin. Then it's going to start with the verb. Va a comenzar con el verbo. Drink lots of water. Eat vegetables. Take an aspirin. In the negative, we'll start with don't. Verb in complement. Don't eat too much. Don't stress. Don't drink soda. Do you have any question in this part? Question? No, no question. Teacher, no question. No question. Okay. No Thank question, you so much. Teacher. Any volunteer to practice reading these examples? These three examples of positive imperative sentences. Thank you, I Jose Alberto. Oh, after Jose Alberto, please. Let's start with Jose Alberto. Okay. Uh, imperative. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed, drink a lot of juice. Of mm -hmm. juice. Lots of juice. Thank you so much. Now, yes. can you please, Maria Dolores? No. ¿Quién okay. me dijo yo? Fue Iván, right? Yo. Yes, sir. Okay. Eh, yes. Primero Iván, luego María en estos ejemplos y por último Hugo en estos ejemplos. So, Iván, can you please? Don't work too hard, don't stay up late, don't drink soda. 
Okay, thank you. Maria Dolores, please. Okay, drink lots of water, eat vegetables, take an aspirin. Thank you, Hugo. Don't eat too much. Don't eat stress. Just eat. Don't drink soda. Drink soda. Thank, Sorry. thank you so much. Don't drink soda. Algunos sí sufrirían con esta recomendación. Don't drink soda. No tome sí, soda. Teacher, me escuchaba antes de apagar el micrófono. No sé. Yes, yes. Sí lo escuchamos. Ok. Ok, let's start using imperatives. Let's see, I have a headache. ¿Qué podemos recomendarle a alguien que le duele la cabeza? I have a headache. Let's see in this Take example. Drink. Digo, profe, no. Ok. Drink eh, water, teacher. Drink water, too. Ok, that is a new one. Drink water. Tomar agua. I have Let's used in examples. Bed. Rest in bed too, it can. Sleeping. It can work, sleep a lot. I have here some ideas. Stay on aspirin, Did rest you? a lot. Going to walk. Okay, go hiking, take a walk. That could work too. Don't use your cell phone or take computer. Take a shower. Take a shower. I relax, teacher. Relax, take a shower, relax. Teacher, oh, eh, yes. ¿cómo se podría decir? Este, protegerse de la luz, algo así. Eh, Personas extrañas, ellos eh, son hipersensibles al, al, a la luz del sol o la luz. Ah, ok, you can say wear sunglasses, use verdad lentes de sol, wear a cap. Utilice una gorra, wear a cap, wear sunglasses, eh, don't stay outside too much, no salga mucho de casa, don't stay outside too much, no salga wear mucho. Umbrella. Ok, buy an umbrella, compre una sombrilla, that could work for them. Thank you so much. And let's see, I have a diarrhea. Let's see some advices. Stay at home. Drink lots of liquid. Don't eat too much. ¿Qué otras recomendaciones podrían decirle a una persona que esté sufriendo de este illness? Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't worry too much. Take it easy. Don't worry. Don't be stressful. happy. Go to the doctor. <laughs> don't worry. Be happy. Go to the doctor, thank you. Go to the doctor, yes, right? That is the best recommendation or the yeah. best advice. Go to the doctor. Drink suero, no sé cómo se dice eso. Drink, let me see. I have forgot that word. Give me a second. Uh, think of for another one. Piensen en otra. Creo que por eso dice ahí va, drink. A lot of liquid. Eh, okay. uh -huh. Drink a lot of liquid. Es bastante yes. líquido, o sea. Serum is suero. Serum. Oral. Yes. Suer, suer, serum is. Liquid re, oral rehydration salt también. Oral rehydration salt. You can say that, right? Or serum. Any other recommendation? Stay near the bathroom. Okay. Stay near to your bathroom. That is another one. Thank you. Any other? No heat. Um, comida grasosa. No sé cómo decir. Eh, okay, don't need a uh, little. That is the light, greasy food, comida grasosa, or fast food, you can say, right? Eat vegetables. Eat vegetables, eat a lot of vegetables. 
rehydration. No, you, sh you should your cell phone. Okay, don't use your cell phone. Which other one? Let's see the next one. Rehydration oral, that is suero in English. Let's go with another Sleeping English. teacher. Sleep to sleep. Let's go with the other one. I have a coat. Tiene tos. Alguna recomendación? Big. In lot of li liquid. Uh, you say big vaporu? Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Teacher. Make a, um, a lot of water. Cup a syrup. lot of water. Cup syrup. Yes. Cup syrup. Cup syrup. Cup syrup. Jarabe para la tos. Aquí está. Take cup syrup. Don't drink cold drinks. And don't eat ice cream. Tome jarabe para la tos. No, tome bebidas frías. And don't eat ice cream. Ok. Y así como abrigarse. Wear a sweater o wear a coat. Wear a sweater. Wear a coat. Ok. You tell me comida grasosa, right? Fatty food. Fatty food, that is it. Fatty food. Don't eat fatty food. Or don't eat fast food. También podría ser, don't eat fast food. No coma comida rápida, right? I need to volunteer to practice in the first conversation. Who wants? The first one and the second one. Two volunteers, please. Thank you, Francisco and any other volunteer. Thank you, Hugo. Francisco and Hugo, can you help me, please? Conversation one and conversation two. Can you please start, Fran? Yes, teacher. I have a headache. Take some experience. Let's a lot do use your cell phone or computer and watch television 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 don't watch television, television. Don't, watch don't watch television okay and the second one please francisco i have a diarrhea take cold re a rinse you uh, teacher um ¿Cómo se la S, la e, I, Y y la O? ¿Cómo se, perdón, la U? ¿Cómo se traduce? Oh, Abajo, we... dice uh, take. Take ah, eso. cup, cup, cup syrup. Cup syrup. syrup. Ok. Yes. Take cup syrup, don't drink, cold, right, uh, drink. And do you eat ice? Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, okay excellent. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Hugo. Excellent job. Very good job. Thank you for your help, Miss Park. I have Jamilet and Damaris in the second one. Jamilet, you are A. Damaris, you are B. You can start, please. Jamilet, can you help me? Yes, teacher. I have a headache. Take someone a uh, aspirin. Dress a lot. Wait, wait. Uh, you are A. You are um, A. And the Maris is B. You are going to okay. be A. Sorry. Let's start again. Don't worry. Okay. I have a headache. Take some aspirin. Press al alarm. Don't use your cell phone or computer and don't watch TV. Thank you. 
Ahora, Damaris, can you please start? Puede usted comenzar la conversación y después yes. llámela. Yes. I have a diarrhea. Take someone aspirin, rest a lot, don't use your cell phone or computer, and don't watch television. Okay. Uh, in this part, please, Jamilet. B. Yes, please. Stay at home, drink a lot of liquids, don't eat too much. Thank you so much. Uh, Damaris, please. I have a coach. Julio, can you help me in this part? Julio Cesar. Okay. Cold syrup. Do not drink cold drinks and do not ice cream. Okay. Don't eat ice cream. Thank you so much, Yamilet, Damaris, and Julio. Excellent job. Thank you, Francisco and Hugo. You too. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. Look at this bird. Eat, sleep, walk, stress, go, smoke, listen, watch, relax, and work. So can you give me an example of imperative sentence using it? But first thing, what is the meaning of it? Do you know this bird? Do you comer. already know this bird? Comer, okay. Can you give me an imperative sentences or an advice using it? Eating. Eating. Ahí vamos a hacer oraciones imperativas utilizando estos verbos. Eat is the first one. ¿Cuál podría ser una oración imperativa para dar una recomendación? Eat vegetables. Ok, eat vegetables. Which other one? Let's see. Don't eat bad food. Okay, don't eat fast food. Thank you. Let's see the second one, sleep. Dormir. Dormir. Es, es, uh -huh. Sleep too much. Es sleep least. seven hours a, a day. Okay, excellent. Sleep seven hours. Sleep a lot. Duerma mucho. Mm, bueno, sleep dormir mucho. Well. No sé si es una buena recomendación. Sleep a lot. ¿Será bueno dormir demasiado? No. 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 Walk. What about walk? Caminar. Walk. Caminar. Peter, I work the very and on the last weekend. Okay. Walk. Walk on the weekend. Take a walk on the weekend. Okay. Excellent. What about stress? Walk in the park. Walk in the park. Thank you. Walk in the park. And stress. 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 In this, we can use Big don't. Work is stressing. Very oh. stress. Very stressful. Team work is very stressful. Really? El trabajo en equipo es estresante. En este podría ser don't stress. No se estrese, ¿verdad? Don't stress too much. No se estrese demasiado. What about go? The exercise teacher. Ok, do exercise. Yeah. Go. Go, go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor, thank you. Go to the work. Go to work. Go, Go with her right now. Today. Can, you please Can you please repeat, Ivan? Go with her right now. Okay. Go, go, go. Go swimming. Go running. Go what? Go hiking. So. Go to ride bike. Ok, ride a bike sería en ese caso, ride a bike. O go riding a bike. Smoke. Smoke. Don't smoke. Don't, Don't smoke. smoke. Listen. 
listen to music. Listen the class. Listen the class. Listen to music. Listen the music. What about watch relaxing work? Wash. Wash the clothes. Wash the clothes. Esa sería Watch una orden. Television. Lava la ropa. Wash the car. Uh, Wash the car. Wash the car. Wash the car. Wash the car. Wash the hand. Wash your hand. Wash your hand before Wash meals. your face. Wash your face in the morning. Work. Wash your fingers, hands. 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 Where's your hands? Okay, let's see a look of the examples I have here. The first one, don't eat fast food. Don't eat fast food. It means don't eat pizza, don't eat hamburger, don't eat donuts, don't eat ice cream, don't eat chocolate. So Bam. fast food. Don't eat fried chicken. Don't eat fried chicken. No coma pollo frito, etc., etc. Don't go to sleep too late. Don't go to sleep too late. No se vaya a dormir tan tarde. Well, 30 minutes. Well, 30 minutes. ¿Cuántos minutos? 30. 30. 30. Don't stress too much. Don't stress too much. Dicen que el estrés ayuda, ¿verdad? A realizar las tareas con mayor eh, rapidez. Pero no hay que estresarnos demasiado. Don't stress too much. Right? Eh, go for a run. Go for a run. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Listen to your doctor. Wash your hands. Relax and don't work too hard. So all of these are imperative sentences and they are also advices. Son consejos utilizando oraciones imperativas. Do you have any question in this part? Questions? No questions? Yeah, I think yes, I have a question, teacher. Yes. Hey, how do you say go for a run? Uh, which one? Go for a run yeah. is like, ve uh, a correr. Ve a correr. Go for a run. Okay, thank you. Okay. Look at this one. Can you look at this? Relax. In mm -hmm. Relax. Relax. Podría ser relax a little. Relax a little, pero en una oración imperativa, e incluso solo el verbo es una oración imperativa, como en este caso, y es relax. Relájate, ¿verdad? Relájese. Relax. Eh, sleep. Duerma. Eat. Come. Solo el verbo puede ser una oración imperativa. Sure. Yes. In the second sentence, uh, could be uh, go to bed early? Yes, go to bed early. It's another yes, expression. In positive form. Yes, in a positive imperative sentence. Go to sleep early or go to bed early. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Who wants to start? This is a game. Who wants to start? Give me a second. I'm going to share it with you again. Here we go. Any volunteer to start this? You are going to pick a number. You're going to pick a number and you are going to find an illness and you have to give me an Imperative sentences giving an advice. Damaris, thank you so much. Damaris, which number do you want? I have from one to 16. Number three. Number three, okay. Let's see what is under number three. Under number three is backache. Can you give me an imperative sentence giving some advices for backache? Backache. Teacher. <laughs> Yes. Backache is um, dolor de espalda. De espalda. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, sit good. 
Okay, so yeah, sit well or sit, sit correctly. Well. Sit well. Bueno, hay que sentarse bien. No, está trabajando en la computadora. Yes, sit well. Thank you. Anyone? Who wants to help the Maris? If you have an idea, you can tell me, no problem. I have a backache. What can I do? Other. Yes, another one. Okay. Si alguien tiene otra, tell me, no problem. For backache. Use, backache. use corrector. Okay. Thank you. Eh. Take a... Una aspirina. Take a okay. pill. Okay. Take a pill. Bueno. Take a message. Okay. Take a... Uh, get, get, get a uh, Get a message. Get a message. Yes. Okay. Okay, and let's go with another volunteer. Who wants to try? Thank you so much, Damaris. It is back support. Back support is the word back support. Para un soporte en la espalda cuando va a levantar algo, you need a back support. Teacher, eso sería como faja. Sí, más o menos así, ¿verdad? Un soporte para la espalda cuando va a hacer algún esfuerzo. Let's see, any volunteer to pick a number? Let's number 10. Have... Number 10, let's see what is under number 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. Here we go. Rush. Okay. A pill. Take a pill. Okay, for a rice, take a pill. Use some cream. Okay, use some cream. Thank you. Use some cream. Also, don't, don't eat a pork. Don't eat pork, really? Eso ayuda para la alergia. Don't eat pork. Y eso le da alergia. <laughs> ah, okay. Don't eat pork. And also, don't touch, right? Don't touch, don't touch. Any other volunteer for another number? Oh, I have another. Jamilet, please. Which number do you want? Uh, yes, teacher. Nine. Nine. Okay, let's see what is under nine. Sore throat. Sore throat. I have sore throat. What is an advice? Take a, a take a pill. Take a pill. Take a pill. Uh, oh, go to visit doctor. Visit the doctor. Thank you. Visit the doctor or go to the doctor. Take a cup syrup. Take cup syrup. Thank you. Take cup syrup. Drink uh, a ice cream. Lot of water. Drink a lot of water and don't eat ice cream. Don't eat ice cream. Thank you, Francisco Antonio. Which number do you want? Teacher number one. Number one. Number one. Let's see what is under number one. Cold. Uh, cold. Then how do you say? Es cold. Es la resfriado. Ok. That is a cold. Okay. You are right. Es resfriado en español. Yes. Aguar. Sí. Ajá. Aguar. Drink. Agua. Ajá. Drink water. Uh, we're, uh, water. Um, Yeah. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Thank you. Stay um, at home. Me escuché por ahí. Stay at home. Uh, stay at home. Uh, 
Uh, drink hot liquid. Teacher, how do hot you say drink. tomar medicamentos? Drink, Take a pill. Drink, drink hot cold drinks. Drink hot cold drinks. Syrup. Okay. okay. Drink. Use a sweater. Use a sweater. Or a, a scarf, right? You can wear a, a scarf. Use a scarf. Use a scarf. Puede utilizar una bufanda. That helps a lot. Thank you so much. Hugo, it's your turn. Which number do you I, want? I, I, the teacher, I, el verbo sería wearing. Wear. 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 Sería usar suéter. Let's say, for example, this. Wear a scarf. Ah, Use wear una bufanda. Ah. You say, wear a sweater. Ah, wear a sweater. Eh, how do you say tomar medicamento, teacher? Is a uh, take. You can use take medicine. Take medicine. some medicine. Take uh, some medicine. Take some medicine. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Use, Hugo. use, use a coat. Okay, wear, wear a coat. Wear a coat. Usar un abrigo. Wear a coat. Thank you so much for your advices. Hugo, which number do you want? Yeah, oh, Hugo? Ah, okay. Sí, yeah, dije sure. nombre, well. Okay, sure. Oh, let's see if there's another volunteer here. Teacher, uh, yeah. 15. 15. 5 or 15? Sorry. 50, perdón. Okay, this one, 15. Ah, fever. Any advice? Drink a uh, liquid. Okay, drink Use lots the, of liquids. Take a syrup. Take cold syrup, cold syrup. Yeah, what do you say? Para bajar la fiebre con medio físico. Take a pills, no? The aspirin or acetaminophen. Ah, pero me acetaminophen. refiero, por ejemplo, a los niños que se les coloca este, compresitas tibias. Oh, you can say, uh, let's see, take a bath. Darles un baño funciona. Take, take a, a bath. shower. You have to take a shower. Which other thing? You say compresas, right? Okay, compresas. Yeah, give me a second. Say cold packs. Cold packs. Compresas frías, but the cold packs. It's cold packs. Compresas frías. Any other advice? I'm gonna write here. It says call. Go to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Muy bien. It's cold packs. Cold packs. Compresas frías. The last, the last number. Carmen, can you tell me please? I have Carmen here. Carmen Maria. Which number do you want, Carmen? Twelve. Twelve. Let's see what is in tiredness, cansancio, tiredness. Take a nap. Take a nap, thank you. Any other? Take Rest a nap. In bed. Rest in bed. Take a shower. Take a shower. Drink a tea. Relax. Drink a, drink a tea. Relax. Okay. Excellent advices. 
Let's see, I'm gonna pick the last one it is number seven, stomach ache. Stomach ache. Any advice for stomach ache? Take a cup syrup. The, in this case, pecto. Take pecto this morning. Yes. Don't eat too much. No coma mucho. Don't eat, Don't eat fast food. Don't eat fast food. Thank you. A medicine. Okay, take some medicine. Take some medicine. Okay, thank you so much for your help in this. Let me erase those notes. Oh my God. Give me a second, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, now let's see. You, um, I'm pretty sure that you find this, that you found this reading in the platform. ¿Se acuerdan de esta lectura de la plataforma? Yes, sí. Yes, teacher. Okay. Ten simple It's ways difficult. to improve your health. Diez maneras simples para mejorar su... To improve your... Salud. Health. Okay. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in ten simple ways. En diez simples maneras puede mejorar. ¿verdad? Improve es mejorar. So, number one, it's an imperative sentence. Is it positive or negative? Positive. 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 Positive, right? He said, eat breakfast. Every day, eat your breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. So it's important, right? Eat breakfast. The second one? Go for a walk. Negative. Go for a walk. Positive. Is it negative? Positive. 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 Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. Okay. Vaya a caminar, ¿verdad? Aunque sea alrededor de la casa, go for a walk. Let's see. Three, floss your teeth. Don't use brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Here is a negative, right? Don't just brush them. Don't just... Floss your teeth. What is the meaning of that? Floss your teeth. Flossing, what, what is the teacher? Which one? Flossing, no sé cómo se pronuncia ese. Flossing, flossing keeps your gums healthy. Uh, floss is? is utilizar hilo dental. Utiliza hilo dental en tus dientes, no solo los cepillas. Usar este hilo dental mantiene sus dientes. Salud. That. That is the advice. Plus your teeth. Number four. Es como Three. una instrucción complementaria, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. Is a Don't just brush. Don't just brush them. No solo te los cepillas. Okay. Number four. Drink a cup of water every day. How many cups of water do you need? Ocho vasos de agua eight por día. Eight, eight cups. Thank you so much. Why do we need to drink a lot of water? So water helps your body in many ways. Number five is stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Así es, es positive. just for five minutes. At the beginning of the day. Yes, at the beginning of the day or to start your day, stretch your body. Number six, wear a seat belt. Wear a seat belt. It's very important to drive. Yes, for the drivers, it is really important. Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. ¿Cuántas vidas se salvan al año? What is thousand? Any idea? 
thousand? Miles. Miles. Miles, Miles right? Oh, don't forget, wear a seat belt. No se le olvide utilizar un, el cinturón. Wear the seat belt. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. Do something to challenge your brain. Something. Challenge. Desafiar. Terse a pruebas <coughs> eh, mentales. Hacer cosas nuevas. Aprender cosas nuevas. Mm, mm. Más o menos. You are, you are close to the ah, right hacer, hacer, hacer algo cerebral. para desafiar tu cerebro, para entender ¿Eh? tu cerebro. Ok. Como rompecabezas o de, algo así. De... Ok. Crucigrams. Eh, ok. Yes. So do something to challenge your brain. Challenge es desafiar. Haga su algo doku. para desafiar su cerebro. Ok. Sudoku. It's a good option. So, for example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Crossword puzzle is the thing that this girl is doing. This is a crossword puzzle. It's un crucigrama. Sudoku, crossword puzzle. Para el cubo Rubik. Okay, yes, the Rubik. Para de letras. Yes, I mean, crosswords. Okay, or read a new book. Protect your skin. Look at this one. Protect your skin. So use lots of moisturizer in sunscreen. Protege la piel. Así es. Utilice crema, ¿verdad? El bloqueador solar. And number nine. Get enough calcium. Tomar bastante calcio. Yes. Your bones need it. Dairy food like milk. Yogurt, eh, yes, milk. Which other one? Cheese. Calcium. Cheese to have calcium. calcium. Dairy food son todos los productos que vienen de la leche. Those are dairy food. Yogurt, milk, cheese, cream. All of them have calcium. And the last one, take a time out a break of about 20 minutes. Something different for some. Tómate un tiempo. Ok, yes. Un descanso de unos 20 minutos. Time out significa un tiempo fuera. Let's say a time out or a break o un descanso of about 20 minutes. Uh, what are you going to do in those 20 minutes? Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. Do something that is funny for you. Something that relaxes you in those 20 minutes. So now after reading this, I have some questions for you. Here is the first one. What can we do for challenging our brain? What can we do for challenging our brain? Do a crossword. Okay, do a crossword. Thank you. Do a crossword. ¿Cuál era la otra? El otro consejo de no, no, read, a new book. read a new book. Read a new book. Thank you. Read a new book. Second question. What does our bones need? Milk and yogurt. Uh, dairy foods. Dairy foods. Thank you. Yes. Calcium, right? And all those food has calcium. What is a good exercise to stay healthy? Walk. walk. Go for a walk. Friend. Go for a walk. How much water do you need to drink? How much Eight cups water. of water. Eight cups. Eight cups, right? Of water every day. ¿Las han contado alguna vez? ¿Cuántos vasos se toman? No. No. no <laughs> Más que eso, quizás. Ah, ok. That's great. Igual What tenemos can... un indicador, ¿va? <laughs> What can you do in your time out? Listen to music. Listen to music. Or um, just sit, or sit down. down. Just sit down or get up. 
Bueno, dependerá de su trabajo. Si su trabajo es estar parado, tiene que sentarse. You have to sit down. Y si usted trabaja sentado, pues get up, right? Get up. Get up get and, your, and walk during your break out or your time out. Or watch a video, check your Facebook, listen to music. Which practice say love of life? Which practice? Seat, seat bells. Okay, oh. wear a seat bell. Wear a seat bell. Buckle up, teacher. Buckle up is lo mismo, Pablo. Usarse cinturón. No? Uh, yes. Eh, en las instrucciones del carro dice así, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. sí, sí. Ahí lo he visto. Buckle up. Es lo mismo abrocharse el cinturón. Thank you. Okay, now let's let's finish with this part. I'm sorry. I want to have a healthy life. Follow this. Eat a healthy diet. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Don't eat fast food. Drink lots of water. Don't drink too much caffeine or sugary drinks like soda. So look at this. How many imperative sentences giving advices? The first one is eat a healthy diet. Lleve una dieta saludable. Eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. Don't eat fast food. Mm -hmm. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. The next one. Don't drink too caffeine. much caffeine. Toma mucho, mucha cafeína. Yes. Y azúcar, and last... bebidas azucaradas como la soda. Okay, excellent. Uh, look at this person. Esta persona dice, coffee. I, coffee right? I always feel tired and sleepy. Yo siempre me siento cansado y con sueño. Just give me a second. Ah, okay, thank you. No te acuestes demasiado tarde. Ve a la thank cama you. y despiértate al mismo tiempo cada día. Mm -hmm. The next. Don't eat in bed. Don't eat in bed. No comas Don't check en la your cama. phone from no bed. No comas en la cama. Y el último. No chequear tu teléfono en la cama. En la cama. No. Ok. No revise, right? Su teléfono It's en la cama. impossible. <laughs> And those are to just try. advices, right? Solo son consejos. The first one, don't go to sleep too late. Go to bed uh, and wake up at the same time every day. Is to create a routine. Acostarse más o menos a la misma hora y levantarse a la misma hora cada día. Don't eat in bed. No coma en la cama. Also, don't check your phone from bed. ¿Hay alguna de estas actividades que practique? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh. Yes, teacher. Yes. I don't eat in bed. Ah, okay. That's great. I don't eat in bed. ¿Y la última? Don't check your phone. Yes, I do, teacher. <laughs> I check my cell phone. Oh, yes. Okay. Bueno, eso no le ayuda, ¿verdad? Se va a sentir cansado. Teacher, siempre lo hago, teacher. Hola. Hello. Sir. Siempre lo hago. Le... Ah, okay. Bueno, creo que es una costumbre que todos tenemos. Antes de dormir, vemos los últimos mensajes. A ver si necesitan ayuda los del grupo. Digo, yo. por eso voy a agarrar el teléfono. <laughs> Um, do you have any question in this part? No, teacher. No, no, teacher. Yo tengo una, teacher, pero eh, y usted sube los videos a YouTube lo, después de la clase. Yes, eh, ahí están los videos en el correo. Mal, ¿no? En el correo que les compartieron está el link de la playlist del grupo. Ah, okay, ahí gracias. están los videos. Ok. Okay, do you have any question about tonight's class using imperative sentences for giving advices? Oraciones imperativas para dar consejos. No questions? No hay preguntas? Any no doubt? Question, teacher. No question. Okay. Okay. Um, if you can start solving the exercise on the section number three of the platform, you can do it, right? Ya pueden empezar a resolver los ejercicios de la sección 3. 
If you have any question, eh, don't forget about the WhatsApp group. We are there to help you. Estamos ahí para ayudarle y it's going to be, um, let's see, a pleasure to help you. Va a ser un gusto poder ayudarle. Así que ya puede comenzar la sección número 3, que es la que tenemos que terminar esta semana. ¿De acuerdo? Ok, thank you so much, Leslie, Francisco, de Amaris, okay, María teacher. Dolores, Iván, okay, Jaime, teacher. Hugo, okay. Yamilet, José, Julio, eh, Candida Beltrán, Carmen María, Samuel, and Flor de María. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. See you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.